This is the room that we did. We finally got the floors done. Yay! So when you come in, you have the, we put the food here so then the mice don't get in it. We have the pea trays and then we do have the Wabitat cage here for a mama if we need it. And then we also have another cage here. It's a Wabitat cage uh, here if we need it for a mama and we put them all on um, tables. And then we have my desk with the different information on when babies are coming so then I know exactly so I can deal with it. Then I have this for snack treat area. And then here's our, our little pieces of fabric that we can put on cages or on here. I'll to explain that to you. But we do have a mama here. Wabitat cage. And then we have the heater if we need it and the the radio that only plays KTIS. So we have that because they listen to it all the time. And here's another Wabitat cage. And then we have the little one that we did. It was the for plast. And if you can tell a difference between how big this one is to how that one's smaller. So just so you know that. And then down below we have all the See, we have all the foods and all the different things that we need for the babies and stuff like that and the different stuff that we have on the different stuff here. And then we use this for the little babies, the little babies here. We use, we put them in here to play. And here they are this morning. Look at you guys nestled in your little thing. I took away the box because they were peeing in the box. And when they pee in the box, Mama, don't know if she is the culprit. But sometimes even if she's not the culprit, right? Are you the culprit? Say, no, I'm not no culprit. Um, even if she's not the culprit, these little ones pee a lot. So they were peeing in the box. So I took it out during the day. And it's this box down here. And then I put it back with the hay in the nighttime. Um, yeah. I put this on just for a few hours to see what the babies think of it. Just to see. It says, I think, uh, I don't know what to think. And you say, I don't know. Are you gonna play for a little bit, Mom? You're gonna chill out while the babies play? Are you gonna chill out while the babies play? This one is always a mama's boy or a mama's girl, whoever they are. But they're gonna play for a little bit. They're all in the little, the little thing here. Are you in a little hideout? There's a few of them over here. Hi, mom. How are you? Are you gonna get out and play in a little bit? Just a little bit? Probably not. I'm going to let my babies play. So I'm going to let them play for half hour. 45 minutes to an hour. And then you guys are going to go out and play. Okay? So I'm going to let you guys do your thing. So anyway, here is my room. We got the floor on and all that stuff. So it's just kind of a, a nursery for like first time mamas or Maleficent here. Last time she uh, was pottying on her babies. So we put them in here and she said no problems. So we're doing good. And Esther 
Hi, Esther. How are you, Esther? Are you going to come out and play in a little bit? Esther is due on Friday. So right before they're due, they don't always like to like play and stuff like that. But she's got a big house, and so she's having a lot of fun, right? Yeah, Esther. Now, Esther looks almost like Allie, and we're going to go look at Allie because Allie is due too. So let's go look at Allie, shall we? Esther, shall we? We're we going to go play pretty soon. Now well, this is Allie. Right, Allie? Hi, Allie. She's new um, to our herd. And she's a little bit different than this is Allie. And then everyone says, wow, well, Allie and Esther are almost the same. They almost are, because if you look at Allie. Hi. Hi. And if you go over here, doo -doo 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 -doo, they almost look the same. Esther and doo -doo -doo -doo. Allie. And like I said, they have bit they have big cages. Like they're not they got large cages and then they also get to run the whole room too. And here is our other room. So you can see our other room here that they do get play area. And you can see Maleficent is there and she has her different stuff uh, to play with and things like that. So she's going to have fun. We also have a water bowl for her down yonder and her pea stuff. And she'll be in here for a while as she's running around and we have two of them. So we're gonna put more stuff into it, but right now with getting the rabbit room done and stuff like that, we're getting this office area done also. We have just the carpet laying like this so they can get traction. But then when we bring babies in or we're, they're not potty trained, we'll roll it up and we'll put like a little um, fleece down or something that they can get traction that we can clean in the washing machine. So it is a larger area. If we do get a rabbit, sometimes we take this apart and we click them together so then they get the whole run. But, you know, they get to have fun. Right, Maleficent? So you go ahead and have fun, Maleficent, while I get your stuff done for when you get back into your room with your babies and your babies can take a little nap. Have fun. Here are the babies sleeping while mommy's out playing. They like to sleep a lot during the day. So we do have them sleeping and the mom gets to be running around. Right? Okay, good night. Good nighty night. And when I step away, what do you do? You move. Hi. You're going to take a nap, okay? Mom will be back in a little bit. Yes. See, and they're in a big, huge cage, and they're completely 100% safe. We love our rabbits. All. Babies, rabbits, bunnies, everything. And we want to keep them safe. Right? Right. <laughs> Look at Esther. Esther, what are you doing? What are you doing, Missy? You want to come out and play too? Okay, I'll get it ready for you. She says, no, I want to come and play. You want to come and play too? Okay, I'll get it ready too. You guys can come and play. Hey, you guys can come and play. Okay, I'll get it ready. Hi everyone, I wanted to go over a few things with uh, you guys about our rabbits. We do keep our rabbits in cages. I'm gonna flip this so. Hi. And I like to play with them and hold them and things like that. So our rabbits, 
as I said, are in cages. We have 15 rabbits and we do house them in cages out in our rabbit barn and in here. But there's a reason for it. We love our rabbits so much. As you can tell, we give them treat bags and treats and toys and we let them run as much as we can and we do the best to our ability. But when you have a rabbit tree and you have more than one or two or even four rabbits, it's super hard to make sure that they are okay at all the times and they're not eating stuff that they shouldn't be and they're not doing all that. So that's the reason why we house them in different cages. So that I know without a doubt that each rabbit has the love that they need, has the food that they need, and they're safe and they're healthy. And that's the reason why we cage our rabbits. We don't cage our rabbits to be disrespectful or be in any type of hate towards rabbits because we love our rabbits. I do not want to get any hate comments or any of the sort, right? Yeah, for having my rabbits in cages. As we all know, rabbits can be destructful by eating cords. They can be destructful by peeing and spraying everywhere. They can be destructful in many sorts of different ways, right? Right, 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 yeah. And we love each and every one of the rabbits that we have in our rabbit tree, just like our own children. And when we know that our children can be in harm's way, we wanna protect them. And this is the way that we protect them. They are so spoiled, correct? Yeah very spoiled. Each and every one of the babies are spoiled. Each and every one of our rabbits are spoiled to the max. Right, Maleficent? Correct. And that's the reason why I wanted to tell you a little bit about why we cage our animals. We don't cage them 24-7. They do get to run. So each and every one of our rabbits, <laughs> sleeping, each one of our rabbits get time to run and play. We do have a rabbit barn that I let some of them run on the floor. I do have another room, which I'll show you, that has two uh, places for the rabbits to run. I do let them run in on the floor in this room, my office. So each and every one of them do have run time. But when they're not running, they're caged up. And that's the reason why I wanted to explain to you because I don't want to get hate from anyone because I think it's disrespectful. But I also know there are people out there that cannot have a free roaming rabbit. They can't do that because they're always they're at work or they don't have the place for it or they just don't feel comfortable as myself to do it. So that's the reason why I'm making this video to explain to you that we don't hate our rabbits. We love them tremendously. And they're always the number one priority. I think our rabbits get more food and better food, right? Than we do ourselves because I love my rabbits that much. They are a pet to us. We don't breed, we're not a, a breeder that overbreeds. We're not a mill. I do this for therapy rabbits. We do this for children. So the children get the benefits of having a therapy rabbit if they need it or things like that, or just a pet in general. There's a ton, a ton of people that just want rabbits as pets because they're so awesome. Right, Maleficent? You're awesome too. Yeah, you're just as awesome. And so we wanna tell you that we are not a breeder that constantly 
always breeds our rabbits. Right, Maleficent? We love you so much. Yes, we do. It's awesome to see teenagers come and hang out with the rabbits when they do. It's awesome that we have kids, homeschooled kids that come and see the rabbits. We have different organizations that we help with rabbits. We help with fostering rabbits if we have them. So we do a lot of different things, right Maleficent? Yes. And as you know, we're always changing different things like this is in for the day for them to hang out and play with, right? And then it gets taken out at night and then they get their little box to hang out in. So I just wanted to let you guys know that just because you see cages here and some of the times they're in the cages doesn't mean they're always in the cages. We don't believe in having our rabbits 24 seven in a cage and things like that. But when you have 15 rabbits, you have to make do with what you have and put one in this room and one in that room and one in this room for the day and let them run and things like that. We do that with the mamas too. We have a cage or a, it's not even a cage, it's a run that we let them run. And then during the time of being outside, we'll bring them outside if they can go outside. But in the winter, it's just not possible that it's not possible that we can get them outside. So they run here. So they do get their run time. So I just wanted you guys to understand where I'm coming from with the whole cage thing, because there are people out there on YouTube and other channels and other organizations that are completely disagreeing with what I'm saying. And that's okay, you have your own opinion and everybody has their own opinion, right? Yeah, everyone has their own opinion. Leave the negative away from the channel. And if you don't believe in what I believe, that's okay. There are awesome things you can gain in having a bunny in your life. And that's what we believe. We started this channel with our daughter at eight years old in 4-H. And we just seen how awesome and powerful little bunnies can be. Even adult bunnies and rabbits can be in a person's life. When it comes to a therapy rabbit, when people can't have any other stuff in their apartments and they can have a rabbit, they can have a rabbit or just any type of thing. And we've seen how awesome they turn into this to turn into a big bunny. And just to see how awesome it is, that's the reason why we do what we do. Is because they are smart like dogs. They're lazy sometimes. Maleficent. As cats. They can do a lot of different things as any other animal can. And they're amazing. And I see that a huge difference in people that come here just to hang out with the rabbits when they come to when they leave. It's an amazing, amazing turnaround in their behavior and how they think. So that's the reason why we do our rabbits, right? That's the reason. Yeah, it is. Yes, 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 it is. Like, no. But, right now, it's time to let these little ones go night night and take a nap. And for the mamas to take a run in the area. Right? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, go in with your brothers and sisters. Good job. Get in there. And Maleficent and I are gonna go play, are we, Maleficent? Hey, you, are we gonna go play? Do you wanna go play? Yeah, we're gonna groom you, shall we? Yeah, so from one bunny to you, you wanna say, have a great day, and thanks for visiting Lopsa Love Rabbit Tree. See you later.